lagi. Saya mengundang kepada Wangkang Kongresman Albert Alvarez di sini di last night. Thank you very much. Mayors, would you like to begin with your opening statement? Betul dulu. Uh, again, can you repeat uh, uh, Again, uh, we are calling for this conference uh, Mind you, it would, there would be another one after uh, April 14, is that tomorrow? Sunday, on Sunday. Kasi doon ang rally. At may inaabangan pa ako na na yung pinakarakal ko yung aming nos doon sa foreign affairs at foreign policy during my time. But let me be very clear on this. We have not conceded anything to China. There might have been exchange of uh, control over the Chinese uh, China Sea. Uh, pero uh, those were really uh, territorial in nature not involving the encroachment of China in their exclusive economic zone. Iba yun. Yung sabi nila territorial, we are studying it still until now so that I can uh, give you a concrete uh, picture of um, everything. Ang problema lang nito, maraming hindi naman na hindi ada party to any of the discussion at itong biglang gentleman's agreement with Xi Jinping. Nobody but nobody in the Philippines today, either in the Supreme Court, the Presidency or Congress, can concede anything about territories. Hindi, hindi gawa yun ang presidente yan. And ang ano ko lang is even this stupid ex-Justice Carpio is arping on a gentleman's agreement of which Uh, certainly he was not there and is uh, beginning to expound on the consequences of the resort or whatever wrong there was committed in the agreement aside from the fact of having a handshake with President Xi Jinping The only thing I remember was that uh, status quo. That's the word. Na walang galawan. No movement, no armed uh, uh, patrols there uh, as is where is. Para walang magkagulo. Hindi tayo magkagulo. Yun ang naalaala ko. Wala akong I do not that's there's a new word I, I do not even know the Ayunan short uh, ito si Carpio and the rest of the well I think he's trying to be relevant he's a um, retired justice a not so brilliant one which he pretends to be no wala naman siya doon and uh, I assure you that if it was a gentleman's agreement it would always have been a, an agreement that would keep the peace 
hindi sa China si. Huwag ko kayong maniwala yung bulatik nila kasi hindi ako ganun kagago. Yan. Yeah. Ayaw kong magyabang. Kaya ako, bakit ako tumagal sa AB sa Lyceum is because after my political science uh, course, I took up and Lyceum could show the records. Marami akong kinuha about uh, foreign affairs and foreign politics. Eh, sabi ko hindi ako nagyayabang. Eh, I studied geopolitics under uh, Professor uh, Obiana. I think he's still connected or retired from the Foreign Affairs Department. I was at their uh, Ambassador uh, Terrano sa Terrano I'm sure I'm sure uh, uh, Ambassador Rosan or Felinda Terrano sa uh, Geopolitics ko pati sa many subjects about foreign policy foreign affairs I had my diplomatic practice and procedure doon sa Fred David Lapos and political thought I was under Jose Maria Siso yun know, ang nagturo sa amin I want to go mas may, mas may bright pa doon uh, kaya sinasabi ko it would be good and it would be healthy for Garpio to just shut up and not muddled up the things of which he was not there. Uh, hindi ko naman siya kinukondem. Pero sa amin niya, tinatawag, in our parlance, pakatorpe na nga itong putang ina. Uh, I will be expanding more the day after because I just received the old documents of Malacanian about foreign policy noon sa panahon mo. I just got it tonight. I want to review it and the different agreements that were entered into by myself and uh, the Defense Department, sila Lorenzana. Lorenzana played a crucial role, uh, a role that was something that was, uh, well, sinasabi ko sa kanya, you handled this, especially matters that will govern the movements of uh, the great ships. Wala pa namang great ships dyan sa You know, uh, ang, yun ang binabantayan namin noon the entry of the great ships. Pero walang nangyari. There was never a time that we sent the great ships in China and China's sent there. Ano yung great ship? Uh, when we talk about great ships, we are talking about war ships. Ang nangyari dito sa China all along was a coastal guard uh, Coastal Patrol. So, hindi naman hanggang ngayon, but uh, there are misconceptions perpetuated, not by us, well, itong nasa gobyerno na napakamaruno. You know, ito ang nangyari you better make it to break one. Nung pumunta ako sa China, I was with Delfin Lorenzana, the DND. I was with Anyo, 
who was my security advisor, national security advisor, and the advisor of the ni Bongbong ngayon, national security advisor. Nandoon sila lahat, uh, Esperon, and my cabinet members, lahat sila. Ito ang opening remarks ko kay si Jing Quinn. Kunin ninyo ito. Kasi harap-harapan kami sa uh, long table para I said, uh, Mr. President, we would insist that uh, that China say, or not the whole of it, but there is a part of the China say that belongs to the Philippines. And since I would uh, want to, you know, get uh, savings instead of export, importing it from the exporting country, ako na mo dig I will dig my oil there. I just want to let you know. Ito ang sagot ni Xi Jinping. I am afraid you cannot do that. Sabi ko, why, Mr. President? Dinaritso ko na siya. I will get it from that portion of the Red China Sea that belongs to the Philippines. Sabi niya, please do not do it uh, for the life of me. We are friends and I do not want to destroy that friendship. So what is in your mind, Mr. President? Sabi niya, because it would be in trouble. Kami dito sa kabila na kaintindo na sila. Nandiyan yung mga generals nila. Ano yung National Security Advisor ni Marcos? Nandiyan. Ang pak- kaintindi pagsabi dyan ay trouble if we insist ay Now, sabi ko, well, uh, uh, the day of my visit, I do not uh, everything, put it off to some other day. You put it to some other day. Uh, uh, the Philippines getting into our plain territories to extract nagkalba kasi alam ko na hindi talaga kaya ng Pilipinas to magkagira. Now, at present, in the past or in the future, ako naman, hindi ko inasahan na ang Amerika would go to the South China Sea, swaggering. Alam mo, sa totoo lang, kung ang, 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 ang Amerika talaga, gusto niyang uh, make his presence felt there in the China Sea and to show to the world na protectado as Marcos would want to picture it to be na America will come to our aid. Why do it during a war anak ka na po, pumunta na sila doon to avoid the war. And if America goes into trouble with China, that is their own shit. 
kasila kasi yung magka rebel dyan. Bakit hintayin pa ng Amerika? Why would Bongbong Marcos would now go to America to continue the talks? Nagganoon pa man, what has agreed upon years ago remains until today. And the popular notion is that if we go to war with China, America would hurry up, go there, and defend that. So sabihin ko sa Amerika, if you are interested really in defending the Philippines, putang ina, bakit ka pa maghintayin magkaroon ng gira? Why don't you go there and give the protection that is uh, being mounted by bakit hintayin pa ni, ni, nila magkaroon ng patayan? Di iparking na niya yung 7th plate niya doon. This 7th plate is in the far east. It's a big one. It's a task force. Ilagay niya yung doon ng mga destroyer niya doon sa... Eh, wala eh. Tapos, uh, alam mo, there is uh, a very dangerous trend. And anybody of you can notice. Uh, Bombong America has been there for about babalik-balik siya sa Amerika. Ang Amerikano naman, binibigyan siya ng moral booster. Sige, lumaban ka. Wala kang wag-wag. Wala kang ikatakot. So, you know, uh, maski sa Amerika dito, before he left, and in America, he's boasting of uh, resisting uh, uh, China we do not want oppression. Of course, we are being oppressed by China. There's no doubt about it. Nobody questions that. Ang problema lang, ang trabaho namin kasi dito as president, just like Aquino and all, istorya muna tayo because we cannot afford a war at this time with China. And I am so ever, ever in doubt that America will try to tickle the um, China there to go into a nuclear war. Because a nuclear war means the end of the world for China and for everybody. Alam nila yan. Takot ang Amerika kasi isang ballistic lang carrying a nuclear warhead. Isang potok lang yan dyan sa gitna ng Amerika. Sufisinti na yan. But with a thousand missiles and in return America returns the paper by sending also 1,000 missiles, it will really end the world. Kaya ang China takot. Hanggang dyan lang sila sa malayo. But they have never confronted uh, Russia or China. Takot. Obliterated lahat yan. Maniwala kayo including us. There will be famine and hunger and death. You can ask any professor ninyo sa physics and he will tell you what would happen to the world. Nobody wins. That is why we navigate through our uh, differences, our uh, nuances, our everything that uh, 
It's questionable there. Just by talk. Pero itong karpyo na ito, ayunan. Bakit? Ka, kung ibigay ko yung ayunan, sure, Jester Carpio, kung hindi ka magago, eh, ibigay ko na lang yung South China Sea. Eh. Hindi ko nga alam kung saan yung ayunan. At ito, Justice Carpio, sabihin ko sa iyo, if China would decide to erect a naval base there in the island nearest us, can you stop it? Ano mo yung Supreme Court, Supreme Court ruling mo dyan? Papel lang yan, idiot. It cannot stop a war. Your cry baby, always America, America, America. That was the last speech of uh, Marco. Now, we will be brave there. We have the ships there patrolling alongside with the American ships. What? And you call yourself you call our place Republic of the Philippines. When you can remain to be a Republic and be peaceful with everybody. Pag-usapan lang natin yun. Hindi naman palawan ang kinukuha ng ano. There are questions and issues about jurisdiction. We will continue to talk. Kaya ang trabaho namin, problema sa'yo, Justice Carpio, hindi ka naging presidente. Akala mo, itong problema ng Pilipinas sa chessboard, kung marunong ka mong laro. It's easy for you to say, oh, ganun dapat ginawa. Say, okay, but talaga, ano. Uh, Putang ina mo, hindi ka naging presidente. You are, you are not given that uh, sacred duty to protect the 100 20 million plus Filipino. Ang iyo papel lang dyan at salita. At maraming ambog. I have the documents. Kinahana po yung meron bang mga agreement sa ano. I will study the tonight and after the rally, we can 
prohibit having more expanded uh, agreements signed along the way. No, kasi ang pagkaalam kasi Tito Ricardo eh galing yan ng kulidyal eh. Supreme Court is kulidyal marami nila. Ganun rin po kami ugok I do not decide on my own the cabinet. Hindi naman ako no. It's the act of the president. Correct. But behind that act of the president I will educate you. Hindi akin yan lahat. I cannot make a move relative to the security of the country without asking the military and the national security company. Ngayong agreement na yan, kung totoo, nasabi ko na sa mga military yan, you should not keep anything secret when you're talking about the national security. Ang mga military nandyan talaga yan. Nandyan man si Anyo. He was my, my national security advisor. Advisor mo yan, bongbong. Tanungin mo kung mayroong bang gentleman's agreement. I want ko ayaw kong mag-insulto eh, eh inumpisahan mo eh o tinawagan mo sana ako di hindi ka makatanggap nito ikaw putang ina ka hindi ka nakatapos hanggang second year college ka lang me dumaan ako sa lahat ng taga foreign affairs under secretary English si Ambassador Terona o Diana well, uh, si David Rapos then si Maria Sison doon ako medyo nag kunting nag kaya ko mong sabihin mas marunong kayo sa akin Alam kong ginagawa ko. Diplomatic and consular procedure. Master ko po iyan. Dumaan ako dyan. Any question? Okay, questions. Uh, edit? Ah, okay. Jermelina Laporte from uh, Inquirer. Uh, Mayor... In your recollection, po, um, was there a written agreement and was it binding? If you are Ma looking into the documents, that means that there was a written agreement. It, I don't. Uh, are you in? Are you in? Yes, yes, sir. And also, sir. Uh, Maraming agreement, iha. When you're dealing with the uh, foreign relations, maraming agreement yan. Not only with China, but with all of the mostly Asian countries. Hindi yan basta-basta na lang sabihin mo na once upon a time. Uh, about what Harry Roque, uh, spokesperson, former spokesperson Harry Roque uh, mentioned, mm -hmm. that uh, the agreement uh, banned the, 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 ge uh, the gentleman agreement um, para yeah, what he mentioned was Hirapka. Uh, yeah, walang pwede construction materials that can be brought to the BRP Sierra Madre and only food and water 
yun daw ang content ng agreement. As is where is nga. Yeah, so, you cannot bring in materials to repair and improve. Okay. So, Wala to, yan. So, totoo na yan? Totoo yan. Na mayroong agreement? No agreement. As is where okay. is. So, bawal ang construction materials? Well, ganun. As is where is nga. Yun yung nabuktan. Kasi kung Sierra Madre pa lang, if allowed, batagal na ng repair yan, nakauwi na yan dito. And is it, is it binding sa present administration? Yeah. Well, if it's brave enough, kaya gusto ko sabi ko, nandiyan mo kaya yung Amerika, why don't the Philippine Navy uh, get a itong panghila at repair it? Or, wag na yan. Nandiyan mo kaya yung Amerika? <coughs> Occupy the islands and drive the Chinese away. Mayo in the context of Secretary of the State, uh, given the as is very so the the ship there will be allowed to run in, in time because no repair is allowed. And which, which the president, which Marco said, that is very alarming because if you cannot repair it, if it will run there, it will be destroyed, then we have nothing there. Kaya ito sabi ko kay Marcos, stop complaining and expounding on it. Do it and repair. Yan ang sasabi ko sa kanila. I challenge them na sila man ang nasa gobyerno ngayon, di repair nila at gumawa sila doon ng mga bahay-bahay kung saan. If they are really ready for that. Gawain na nila ngayon gusto nilang gawin. Ipatrol na nila yung Philippine Navy, the gray ships, and let us see what happens. Tapos na kami. Kung sabihin ni Marcos, all of your past presidents were failures. You didn't do anything about Sierra Madrid. Mr. President, I am urging, I'm challenging you to go to Alonan with the other ships and repair it. Yan ang dapat following your... Di subukan nila. Kami takot. Ayaw namin ng gira. Kung sa kanya, hindi ba kagira pagkos nandyan yung Navy, di gawain mo. You have the ironclad guarantee of the Navy that they will, you is Navy, that they will all die for the Philippines. Are we saying that the recent uh, maritime cooperative uh, cooperation uh, exercise just a show of force, and even if Japan, Australia, uh, Philippines and the United States will uh, collaborate to repair this Sierra Madre. Still, it's an exercise in futility. Would you take that risk? Go ahead. Bring in Japan and the rest of the ASEAN countries and let us see what happens. Are you saying there will be a bloodshed? The what? <coughs> there will be a bloodshed. War. Wala akong sinabi. Sinabi ko lang, subukan nila. And see what happens. The way you listen to President Day during your meeting, uh, he said, uh, you can do this because there will be this possible war. Well, one word lang. Nandiyan kami lahat. What was it? Do not do it because there will be trouble. It was heard by all. So it was a stern warning from China. Well, that was the reply. If it's a warning, well, ikaw na bala. You, uh, you interpret. If you are to advise the Philippine government in this era of Philippine government's position, on the West Philippine Sea 
And if so, if you are asked to a one cent uh, opinion, what will you tell the Philippine government, or what will you tell the Filipino people, given these conditions, sir? My advice would be totally irrelevant. Sila ang magtanong doon sa Amerikano. Sila kasi ang gumagawa. Hindi naman ako, bakit ako mag-advise? Mayor, um, pwede mo balik lang ko. Uh, I just want to make it clear. So you said that where is, uh, as is, where is, there was an agreement. And was it written or verbal, verbal only? And verbal. Yeah. Verbal. Walang written written sa amin pa na. During our my relations uh, with China during my term, walang written written except yung mga trade which were signed by the under secretaries of the particular department concerned. Nasa tabi lang ako kami mga. It's not binding. It's not binding. No, it's, it's binding. It, it it is binding. It's not. It just it. Uh, just because it was not signed, other agreements, other trade agreements signed are binding sa atin. Hindi mo kailangan ang presidente ang mupunta doon. Okay. You cannot put to task the president to sign all agreements with all other countries because that would take Kaya may dala ka mga diplomatic ano, trade under secretary, trade secretary. Okay. Sir, uh, I am I'm just sorry. asking you to exactly, meron ka mga recorder, quote me exactly para walang misconceptions, misunderstanding. May uh, gabi ni Mayor, ang uh, dinugyo sa Philip Solomon. Gawin mo yung isyo ni Bumbong Marcos just because of uh, uh, Ali Ruki. Ipalayo mo yung mukha nga mo kasi maliit ang kwarto. Like. Gawin mo yung isyo ni PBBM, ang statement ni Harry Ruki, and then your advisor, attorney Salvador Palilo, Sinabi niya, tinawagan ko ang facility na kausap kami, walang gentleman agreement. Bakit sinabi ni Hali Roque na merong gentleman agreement at yan ang ginagawang issue ni PBBM niyo? <coughs> ano mo, si Hali Roque wala pa doon. Hali Roque joined my administration almost halfway na. <coughs> Ang si Padeno ang nandun, wala si Harry Roque. He was not there because he was not part of the government delegation. So, wala ho akong maisagot dyan kay about Harry Roque. Ask him again. Uh, okay. Kung, that, kung may agreement man kami ni President Xi Jinping, walang secret agreement niya. We agree. Then after that, yung agreement namin, isasabi namin sa mga tao, foreign affairs particularly, to verbalize everything that is being said in whisper kung meron man agreement bakit sinabi ni Rocky, uh, Harry Rocky na wala pa siya doon noong panahon na yun bakit sinabi niya na kinakakalito at ginawang isyo ni PBBM ngayon bago siya lumipad ng Amerika ginawa niya ang isyo na meron lang ngayon do you know Harry Rocky Do you know him? 
do you have an idea of what his personality is? Pero ka yung idea? Pareho tayo. Pero salamat al. Si Richie sa and then uh, Randy after. Maybe in New York. Mayor, uh, isutin mo kanina that when you go to China, uh, after nag-isutihan ka ni Xi Jinping that hindi pwede maistoryahan ang imong ipangayo sa iya ha about the conflict of the West Philippine Sea. After anak, wala na ba yung talks of talks na naitabok? <coughs> Tapos na lahat eh. During our first meeting, nandito yung cabinet ko. Nandito yung mga military sa Lorenzana. What would be the point in bringing up the matter again with him? Kung sinabi sa iyo, please do not do that. There will be trouble. Anong ibig sabihin niya? Trouble na yan sa kanya kasi may nuclear bomb nila. That's a big deal for all of us. Patutunaw itong Pilipinas at the After, uh, after, before you 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 get out from the office, uh, Mayor, what are there any attempts to buhi una sa mga iskutanan? In June, kanang uh, after atong China, and then for how many years na nakasapuesto pagu ka muhawa? What are there any attempts to buhi unto sa mga iskutanan? Well, the day I went out of Malacanang. Totally cut off na ako sa governmental functions. Nobody would believe me. Magsalot lang yung police, pati military, pagka may position ka. Pag wala ka na sa position, sabihin ng military, hmm. Sabi mo na, sabi ko, oh. Namat, Richie. Uh, Lanti ka nito. Mayor, uh, my concern is for the 120 million Filipinos na, at 21 million Filipinos na sinasabi mo, baka mag-vanish tayo, mag-purpose tayo. And thinking na ikaw, ilan na namin, pero walang kinatatakutan. Now, being afraid for the sake of the Filipino, and hindi mo na pinatulan yung sinabi ni si Jim Binder will be trouble, it seems like you're sending that message right now to PBBM na ito yung sinabi ni si Jim Binder will be trouble. What if our present president will not listen to this at makumbinsi siya ng Amerika na kasi nandun siya ngayon paano pagbalik niya sinabi niya makikipag-gera tayo what can we do? Good <laughs> Let him try it Magtago ka na <laughs> that, that is very good But ang gusto kong tanongin Bakit ito lang gray ships ng American Navy? Yung malapit lang naman, wala. nagpa-distansya. Na chance ba yun? Pwede kong gawin tayong proxy war na kagaya na nangyari sa Ukraine at tayo magiging kawawa. Um, sinasabi pa po na baka gamitin daw ni Biden ang gerang ito para maritain sa kasimukang delikado sa sa election by November at pag nakipag-gera tapos si Trump naman ang manalo uh, inano ko lang na baka bawiin ni Trump yung order na yan kawawa daw tayo may iwan is it possible? The earlier that uh, Bongbong Marcos comes back bringing with him the order to go to war Para sa akin, the better. What can the Filipino people do? He 
Eh, kung patay na tayo, what can you say? A nuclear war, like a nuclear war. Kung hindi mo na, ano, you go to TV, sa YouTube, pakita mo, there's a series there of what would happen to the world after a nuclear war. It's nothing. There's absolutely nothing in this world. Kaya magdasal ka na lang, napagputok, kasali ka na. Kung maiwan ka, pati yung kamote mo sa radioactive, lalo ba magsuka-suka? Now, I think that the best thing is just really remain neutral. Sabihin mo sa China, China, adre, wala man akong away sa iyo. Huwag mo lang akong galawin. Itong Amerika, well, if you want uh, trouble there no, to find a proxy, meron naman. Japan, you can use China, South China, ay, South Korea, and uh, many other. Uh, huwag tayo. Wala tayong ibubunga. Navy natin, ipagyabang natin. Okay. Pwede. Pwede. We can... I'm not belittling my country's Navy. But uh, we can only guess uh, this what would be the stakes and what would happen. Ruth, then Alan, after. Malahat kayo may tanong. Hindi ako nagbibiro. Hindi ako nagpapatawa. Wala ba akong kasing kain eh. Nga, kain na kayo. Susmayo pa mo. Last two questions. 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 Okay lang. Okay. May you like to add a sheet to other topics? Mabuti ba? Mabuti sa China kayo. May you, can we hear your uh, statement or message to your friend, Pastor Paul of Tuguloy's uh, situation uh, who is currently hiding because of the war of arrest? Is he an arrest order from the Senate? You know, as a lawyer, I would say that uh, you can go to court and fix your case and post a bail bond. Uh, that would be an option. But if you don't, if you do not think uh, that you will get the fair deal with this administration, because you have been talking about Marcos and everything, the Huwag kang lumabas dyan sa Tamayong. Nandyan lang yan sa Tamayong. Malaki lang ang Tamayong. Alam mo, ganito yan. Let me... Let me educate all of you. Ang Tamayong malaki yan sa loob maraming bahay. Make sure na sa isang bahay nandyan siya. Because for every Baha'i, it should be a different search. Hindi mo po hindi ma-search ang Baha'i na yan at maghanap ko kay Pastor Kibuloy. You would have to get another writ. Iba-iba yan. Marami ang Baha'i na yan. So, mag, 
mag-ikotan, mag-ikot siya dyan, maghabulan kayo, by the time na matapos yun na napagod ka na, you will become a member of the Jesus Christ. <laughs> the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Eh, alam mo, ang buhay ng tao, tayo naman simple lang eh. Katoliko, trabaho tayo, prayer, that someday, pag namatay tayo, tawa ang Diyos, punta tayo ng langit. Di ba? Pag gusto ninyo sa imperno. Imperno ang gusto ninyo? Bahala kayo. Ngayon, kahanap ninyo, ninyo mahanap. It's a... Ewan ko, tamayo, malapit dyan na... Malaki ang tayo. Malaking, malaki. Hello, uh, Mayor. Um, may mga speculation kasi that someone is... Nasa ang aking bahay ko. Look, I'm in... Mukain mo ako magkatapos. Mag-uwi ako. Sama tayo doon sa bahay ko. And... Uh, if you can find Kibuloy there, I'm uh, raising the ante. Ano ba mukha na ba binigyan ako 100? I'll make it 200,000. Or 300. Or even 500. Uh, ibuhos ko na lang yung pera ko para maligaya kayo kung makita rin si Kibuloy. Sa bahay ko. Okay, pastor, pastor, ikaw naman ang wanted. Huwag mo akong damangin dito. <laughs> Prosecut- prosecutor ako tapos. You were designated mayor as administrator of uh, Pastor Pibula's properties. Is this is true? Hmm. Na, nalipat ko na sa lahat ko sa pangalan mo. Gusto ka? Ano? <laughs> sa ano gusto yung parte dyan na ano? Bigyan, bigyan kita. So, totoo yun ngayon? Nangy- uh, administra- administrator in the sense that when he is not around ngayon, probably in hiding. So, yung somebody has to see the over see the management of the kingdom to preserve the kingdom not uh, not to go into waste sayang nandiyan eh kingdom of god niya bakit mo ya Clarification na mayo, the properties and the church also? Oo, oh, may, 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 as a matter of fact, may, may, uh, tulugan ako dyan sa kingdom. Sa likod ng, um, parang, ba, um, ito, kapilya nila. May, may kwarto ako doon. Gusto kang pumunta doon ngayon, eh. Kasama lang kailangan ko. <laughs> Babae. Thank you, Lord. Uh, Alan, nakay pa ako tayo pa? Okay. Love lang sa gigwa ni Mang Ruth. But, uh, Mayor, uh, are you also convinced na possible itong sinasabi ni Pastor na may extraordinary condition na mangyari kapag kasi yung magpapita? Well, uh, Hindi ko masyado pinag-aralan yan kasi American law yan. But it is possible may rendition. Pero tingin ko, if we will post a ban and talagang uh, unbillable, kung hindi billable, it will be a fugitive. 
Pero pag bilabor, tapos he, he gets his liberty. I, 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 I don't think that there will be a... Uh, at sabi ko naman sa kanya, huwag ka maniwala, kanya ang rindiso ng Angrila. At kung meron lang, tawagan mo ako. So, so you you advise him to come to the open? Again? Uh, you advise him to surrender, if that is so. You would, you, you would advise him to surrender if that is so, na wala rin din siya na mayayari? Wala, wala ako kasi pastor naman, edukado na tao. Alam naman niya na ano, hindi kami nag-istorya ng buhay niya. About, about arrest and everything. Uh, anong gusto niya sa buhay niya, di okay lang. Ngayon, tanongin niyo ako, saan si pastor? Gusto niyo mulaman talaga? Yes, yes. Ewan ko, pagpagpagano lang siya, tama yung... Yan lang naman ang refuge niya, sanctuary. Wala man siya ibang bahay. Yan lang. Tama yung... Ano. Wala akong nalaman na... He is comfortable in his tama yung sanctuary or itong kingdom compound niya dyan sa airport ng da. But frankly, yan talaga ang nalangang ko. Na kung na, nakapunta na siya ng Manila o anong sa anong saan na lugar, wala akong alam kung may mga bahay siya doon. And I must profess my ignorance. Is it possible that you also be assassinated? An- ano ba? Maybe because he's hiding. Uh, that if the, the if that is his uh, belief. But why would the U.S. want to kill him? I don't know. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Jermelina. Last two questions, the mayor, from uh, Sheila Lisondra of the XRP and then Maya. Mayor, Cabillo. when was the last time you talked with the pastor? Again? When was the last time you talked with the pastor? Panina. <laughs> Is it possible po na sa inyo siya mag-surrender? Hindi ko siya tatanggap eh. <laughs> Hindi ako ang authority. Hindi na ako dadala ng warat. Uh, we are dinner. Uh, downtown kanina. We are magila sa mga restaurants. Thank you, Sheila. At saka wala pa kaya alam yung mga waiter, basta magbayad ka lang. <laughs> Maya Padilio, Mayor. May, may gabi, Mayor. Mayor, and this is regarding uh, sa holding ng hakbang ng maiso sa tago on April 14. Parang isang time din na, in, uh, may order na for 60-day preventive uh, suspension si uh, Governor Akuya Gold. Yan ang magandang tanong. What is your take on this? Maiso, it has nothing to do with politics. Uh, what is very unbelievable to me, uh, what I, Walang notice, wala lahat. Uh, basta, sinabi na sa kanya, umalis ka. Alam mo, we are drifting into that kind of uh, sector. Which I think, to me, is very important for the President to realize it. Uh, Mr. President, uh, Uh, hindi ko na sinusunod yung demokrasya. And you are uh, in pagganong na ista, you are fearing towards a, a more authoritarian 
mahirap yan, hindi sa nalay ang Pilipino. I am just warning you. Ako, ako sa isa talaga na hindi ako papayag. Na kung magtanong ka na what I intend to do, I will raise hell one day. And I would ask the military and the police to join me. Not to force you out to the office. We will just air our sentiment for you not to forget that the Philippines is a democratic state. Ito ang nangyari kay Governor. Basta na lang pinaalam sa kanya na umalis ka. It violates the due process of law. Very important yang no person shall be denied of the equal protection of the Constitution. Eh, tanggalin mo tao ng rason. And you must remember that the governor of North Davao has been elected by the people. Hindi yan trabahante na inappoint mo tapos tanggalin mo. We have to respect the will of the people of that North Davao. For respect on a man. So you are veering dangerously close to being an authoritarian government. Ako sinasabi ko sa iyo kasi hindi ko nagustuhan yung style. Kung nga na due process of law, if you had committed the wrong, may masama siyang ginawa, nabistigahin mo. Ano ba yan? And if it is uh, a case that is good for uh, a, a case under the revised penal code or any other special law, sabihin mo sa kanya the right to know and the right to address something. Kung wala siyang ma-explain sa mga tao, bakit niya inabanduno ang mga tao, siya naman ang hinalal na governor, then there is something seriously wrong sa mga pangalakat na ito. Then, uh, ayawin ko ang tingin ng military pati pulit, I am asking you guys to look at it closely. Be neutral. You were not organized and funded by the Republic of the Philippines with the money of Marcos. You are there operating and paid by the tax Payer, the Republic of the Philippines. Ngayon, kung mag-open up ako sa one of these days, and I will begin to say it <coughs> in rallies and everything, because it's bad. Hindi ko kalaban si Marcos, pero along the way, magkakalaban talaga kami. We will be political enemies. Hindi ko ma... You cannot remove that kind of uh, situation na mangyari kasi mali mali nagtanggalin mo yung isang tao dyan elected by the people uh, there is a, a big difference between 
an appointed guy and an elected guy. Elected to. Gusto nila itong leader na ito. To help govern the local place. So, hindi ko alam. Wala naman akong balita. Kaya, alam mo si Ben Hall, kaibigan ko rin yan. Kasamay kami noong pag-akyat namin sa Mayor si Ben Hall. Itataka lang ako because ako wala akong kita mo noon bastos ako magsalita bunga nga ako. But my God, doing this kind of thing is uh, very serious. I hope that they, they will go to court. Diretso na sila sa Supreme Court. And ask for uh, a relief, whatever it is available. Bawal talaga to. Ito yung pangpahina ng gobyerno. Yung lahat ng mga bumoto dyan sa gobyerno dyan, galit sa gobyerno. Uh, yung galit na yan, bagtayan ninyo yan kasi masaya na sana kami, ako, at ang military, ay medyo humina na ang impi. Huwag kayong bigay ng rason na mga tao nito tatakbo sa bukid ng armas, manggulo na naman ang bayan na. Alam ko, hindi niya nagustuhan ng military. Sigurado ako dyan. Basta sa military, hindi ka lang basta, uh, you are advised way ahead that you are being transferred from one post to another. But it can never be applied with such a cavalier fashion of removing a person elected by the people basta ko nang ligwakin tumabi ka dyan that is not democracy hindi pa ready ang Pilipinas dyan at uh, do not ever think na popular ka sa tao yun ang karamihan ng ano uh, that's the pitfall of uh, many leader just do not assume that you have the absolute power in a democracy there are always parameters boundaries where you can act and when you cannot act but always we find the power of the law to govern us all, to make us uh, conscious of being a citizen and what to do. One question from Dennis Lasso Mayor. Mr. President, the November 5 U.S. election is fast approaching. No? Uh, your friends, magkaibigan kayo ni Donald Trump. Will you campaign for him? Uh, kay Donald Trump sa... Wala, wala akong pamasahe pupunta doon. <laughs> Pwede mang magpatawag ka ko sa pag-press pa na yun. Hindi. Uh, hindi, hindi ba tayo makabota? Pero I am for Trump. Uh, there is no available leader in that place called USA na pwedeng with all the ang gulo kasi niyang USA na yan and you need a leader like Trump na isang salita para mag-behave lahat kay Biden o lang maniwala dyan so you're calling out the Filipino-American citizen too I'm calling all Filipinos who are now Americans and who have the voting right to elect 
the President of the United States. I'm calling you to vote for Trump. Akin yan. Kung ayaw ninyo, pari doon kayo kay Biden. <laughs> Kasi si Biden pariho ko. Ito ang magdakad ako. Pero itong akin, it's more of uh, the after effects of my years of motoring sa Simpra. It has taken its toll dito sa katawan ko sa spinal pati uh, salamat sa kung hindi pa mga matanda kaya alam na hindi na ako maka pag matanda ka na babalikan ka talaga Salamat, Trump tayo. Salamat, Dennis. Ngayon ay pahabol si Yusek Lorraine Badoy. Yes, ma'am. Mayor, um, my job, marami ako nakakapusap na marami silang gusto iparating sa'yo. Ordinary Filipino, si Marihira. And so, magsisegue lang ako doon sa sinabi ni ma'am about um, Governor Hubahib. Now, having been on the receiving end of this government's um, heavy-handedness, tsaka yung parang wala nang patas sa Pilipinas, parang sila na yung may-ari sa Pilipinas, yan yung nararamdaman ng ordinary Filipino. Kahit ako, nung kami ay, we were illegally and arbitrarily detained by the Martin Romualdez led Congress. And um, even the way, the way they run the PCSO, it's just so, so shameless. So brazen, the corruption. It's obscene. Yes, it's obscene, and yet it's so shameless. And they keep doing it the way that they've done it with SMNI, not the way they they have silenced the press. And we feel it, Mayor. It's so ang sakit sakit masyado na Mayor. And um, basically, what what I want to ask you, Mayor is, ano ba yung maybe maybe you can educate us. Ano ba yung recourse namin dito? Kasi this president no, is um, he's ignoring the clamor of the people, for instance, of a drug test. When the documents, there are proofs, that are, and, and it, there's that outcry. No? And then he's hurtling us towards the precipice of war. <coughs> Nasa tamang pag-iisip pa ba itong taong ito? Alam mo ma'am, uh, ako una yung nagsabi, na drug addict siya. Hindi naman ako nag-iimbinto ng istorya. Pero yung mga PDEA reports nila ngayon na sinasabi na totoo, na hindi totoo, natural yan ma'am kasi panahon ni Marcos. Ano agency in government can go uh, head to head with the president sa bagay na yan. So, sinusupress yan. Kung sinabi ko sa inyo, noong as early as, hindi, hindi pa ang presidente. Noong presidente, mas lalo ko nakita. I saw it again. But yung dito sa Dabao, because, uh, ay, alam mo, ano talaga ako sa droga, pinakita nila na si Marcos nandoon. Hindi ko binigyan ng importante. Ang sinabi ko lang sa kanila, trabaho lang kayo. Huwag na ninyo akong isali na lalabas na personal kong personal ako magalit kay Marcos. I do not need it. But I was president, I was already looking at the yung full uh, the, 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 the full story of uh, uh, yung pagka adik ni Marco. Kaya lang naman, ma'am, sabi ko, sana hinuli na lang nila noon. Uh, ang pagkamali ko lang rin, kasi mayor lang ako, yung unang nakita ko. Sana nung na-presidente ako, pero wala na yun. Y- yung, yung, yung unit, unit, wala na sa mga so siguro sa Pasig River na hindi pa natin ma galaw yan dyan ako ay 
firmly believe with all honesty. Hindi naman sa akin generated by my personal ay ayaw ko sa kanya. Kaibigan ko yan si Presidente. Gusto ko nga protektahan noon. May ano kasi, uh, uh, eh, naman yan, everybody's doing it. Kaya yung sinabi ko sa mga ano, parang ano lang na, ah, sige, trabaho yan lang ninyo, trabaho ninyo. Not, not really a specific order na you try to pulihin ninyo. Kasi Vice Presidente lang ako. Noong no, Presidente ako, pero mahirapan na sila noon ay I do not know why. Pero ako, naniwala ako kasi nakita ko at uh, hindi naman sa yung aking innate native na galit ako kay hindi yan uh, Mr. Marco. Yung na pinakita sa akin ng Presidente. Alam ko yan, pinakita rin sa iyo kasi Presidente ka o takot lang yung mga gagawin sa PDA. At lahat niya, mga dokumento na yan, talagang, inano na yan, it's either they were erased or... Pero, balik tayo dito sa ano, nandito man si Secretary Alvarez. Uh, we are friends. Uh, hindi naman kami nag-away. Uh, contrary to popular so, hindi kami nag kaibigan ko siya sa nung congressman magkatabi kami wala kang mabuting tao naman si Pebon uh, nung, nung ano kami sabi, wala man tayong problema of course he said something about my daughter but you know politika eh. so at saka alam mo naman ang ginawa na He has to face the consequences also of being criticized. Ganun yan. Siya yung gumalaw. Well, hindi naman, ayaw naman magpapigil. In matters of politics, hindi na talaga nagpapigil yan si Inday Sara. Kaya sinabi ko sa kanya. Out of my control. Well, so wala kami ang away. So... I will support him. I will support the governor because he's a victim of uh, how would I describe it? Of, uh, oppression. Uh, oppression and itong falsity. Falsity on the part of governor. Whatever it is. Bakit hindi nila ipalabas? At walang ano. Kaya dapat mag na siya sa Supreme Court. And I will support him all the way. As matter of fact, kung magtakbo sila lahat, I will be there to campaign for them. Hindi maganda na ganun ang nangyari. So, hindi naman ako, ano, but yung oppression talaga eh. Hindi, hindi, hindi maganda. Hindi maganda. Thank you, ma'am. Ako, basta ako, wala ako away kay Marcos. Sinasabi ko lang kay Marcos ngayon, marami kang ginawa na hindi tama. Kaya nagre-reklamo ako kasi alam ko at uh, do not continue committing so many mistakes because one day puputok yan maniwala maniwala ako sa akin military is not yours walang loyalty lang military yung mga generals na malapit lang sa iyo na pero by and large ang military nakatutok lang yan sa tao including the police tandaan ninyo yan hindi yan mga kung sabihin yung mahirap lang na 
पद्धला ने जो सा जी हाँ कमले का मिस्टर मार्को कमले का तरह दी सॉल्जर्स यूं पिना का नंदों से पक्की बतो यूं थ्री मंथ्स ना दोस्त से पक्की सोल अरे डालो क्या मग बब्बा ये नहीं तो इन्हें एंटरटेन को अपने पकाएं को अरे मगर से पक्की सोल यार हालों से संबंध दी लोगों ने बस यार दोस्त से पक्की पक मग उलान मग Kaya masakit para sa akin ang mga sundalo pati ko rin. Kita mo lahat na mamatay noong dito sa Davao. And everywhere noong President Yama. I go out of my way to pay my last respect. Because ano ang ano ko sa akin. Protecting the feelings of people. I have I'm good for another 20 questions. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor. 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 Two emissaries were sent to talk to Governor Kubahid, asking him na go ayaw na ipadayo ng rally sa April 14 diha sa Davao del Norte Sports Complex. Ang nagpadala sa emissaries Kini si Anton Lagdamio. Ang sulti niya, dili daw ipadayon ang rally tungod kay maulawan daw siya kay siya ang sap taga Davao del Norte ng hambog siguro nga kaya niya kontrolon ang Davao del Norte. O niya, maulawan po daw ang mayor sa Tagum City na si Chung Uy o ang Vice Governor ng anak kini si Oyu Oyu kay dako na sila og kwarta nga nakuha kang Martin Romaldes ayo sila na dili ipadayon ni Gobernur Rubahin ang tubag ni Gobernur mo ni ingon siya murag lisod na himuon siya ako si Gobernur Rubahin wala na akong pwedeng ipagmalaki sa buhay wala akong uh, mataas na edukasyon na pwede ipagmalaki. Wala rin akong sapat na yaman na pwede kong ipagmalaki. Sabi niya, dito man lang, pwede kong ipagmalaki na meron akong isang salita. Na, na, bigay ako ng commitment ko na mag-host ako ng rally dito sa sports complex ng Davao del Norte. At sabi niya, nag-commit ako ng 100,000 participants ng rally dahil nga ang mga mayors ng Davao del Norte kanya-kanya may commitment sila kung ilang dadalhin na participants so nag come up si governor ng 100,000 ngayon kala ni governor tapos na yung usapan then the following day meron na naman pumunta sa opisina niya Ang sabi, Gob, pinapatawag ka ni Anton Lagdameo, nandito sa Tagum City, nandoon siya sa isang restaurant. E, ang sabi ni Governor, teka muna, nakita mo yung maraming tao na nagkaantay para magkipag-usap sa akin. Sabi niya, bakit ko unahin si Anton Lagdameo? E, itong mga tao nito, may mga kailangan ito, may problema. So, ang nangyari, hindi niya hinarap si Anton Lagdameo. Ngayon, nagalit si Anton Lagdameo kasi sabi niya, binabastos daw siya ni Gobernur Edwin Ubahib. 
at hindi siya hinarap doon sa restaurant. Tapos, sinabi nila, okay, di, kung hindi hindi natin makumbinsi si governor, hindi palitan na lang natin yung governor, pwedeng suspindi, di ba? Ginawa nila ngayon ng paraan, kahit walang basihan, binigyan ng order of suspension si Governor Edwin Hubaib. Nung makita ko yung order, sabi ko, I was disappointed. Why? Because the order was signed by a former Chief Justice, itong si Bersamin. Sabi ko, e, former Chief Justice ito, dapat, he should be the one to respect yung due process and equal protection of the law. Malinaw sa, sa ligang batas yan, di ba? No person shall be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. Nor shall any person be denied equal protection of the law. Ang linaw-linaw. So dito, yun ang nangyari kanina, dumating yung mga tila DILG, pinaparisip yung order, hindi sila pinapasok ng mga tao na nasa kapitol. Ang ginawa nila, pinost nila yung order doon sa labas, sa gate. At pagkatapos, siguro in 30 minutes, na umalis sila sa kapitolyo, pinasumpa nila kaagad yung vice governor as acting governor. Ngayon, pagkatapos silang pasumpain, ang sabi ko kay Governor Rubahig, huwag kang umalis dyan sa opisina mo. Because you are the duly elected governor. Pinili ka ng taong ng taong tiga Dabao del Norte. Sabi ko, illegal yung order na inisyo ni Bersamin. Unang-una, si Bersamin, appointed na lang yan eh. Hindi nga elected official yan. Tapos tatanggalin niya yung tao, yung governor na inilagay ng mga tao ng Davao del Norte dyan sa Capitol. E anong karapatan niya para gawin yun? Para sa akin sabi ko, yung order na yan, illegal yan. Kasi it violated the very principles of the Constitution, yung Bill of Rights. Illegal yan. At saka yung assumption of office as acting governor ni Oyo Oy, illegal din yan. Kasi andyan yung governor, buhay yan, sitting governor. Paano mo sasabihin na legal yung pag appoint mo ng acting governor. Ang acting governor, pagka walang governor, inandyan yung governor. Kaya nga, sabi ko rin sa mga empleyado, kasi pagkakaroon ng skandalo ito, dahil ang mangyayari dyan, sabihin nila, dalawang gobernador sa Labaw del Norte. Merong totoong gobernador at merong fake na gobernador. Ngayon, sino susundin ng mga tao? Siyempre, yung mga empleyado mali dito. Pero ang sabi ko sa mga empleyado kanina, sabi ko isipin nyo na yung governor na inilagay ng DILG, hindi yan totoong gobernador. Vice governor lang yan. <coughs> Inilek yan ng taong bayan bilang vice governor, hindi gobernador. Ngayon, kayo ang naglagay ng acting governor, yung DILG. So sabi ko, bakit susundin yan? Hindi nyo dapat sundin yan. Dahil lahat ng action yan sa, para sa yung mga abogado, considered ultra virus yung action. Hindi po valid yun. Hindi ko maintindihan kung bakit yung administrasyon eh, wala namang gulo sa Davao del Norte na sa pagpapatakbo ng probinsya. In fact, ito ha, a few weeks ago, Governor Edwin Hubahim was awarded a plaque of appreciation 
ang nakalagay doon, seal of good governance. Recipient siya niyan. Ang nagbigay, D-I-L-G. Ngayon, tatanggalin mo yung taon na yun who just received an award from D-I-L-G, yung seal of good governance. Eh, masyadong unfair naman and unjust, di ba? Kaya nga sabi ko, ang hirap talaga pag ganito ang sitwasyon. Ganito ang administrasyon, hindi mo maintindihan. Kaya tinatanong nila ako kanina, paano yung rally sa Sunday? Sabi ko, ang rally sa Sunday, eto. Ito rin ang napakasunduan namin ng mga mayors. Come hell or high water, tuloy ang rally sa Davao del Norte. Bot ako. Alam mo, siya may gusto ng chewing gum. Alam mo, ang simple pakasabi dito, I am accusing Marcos of bringing us back to the old politics. Gayon nung suspend, tapos tanggal na tao na walang tatay ko, halos ganun ang ginawa nila. But ang tatay ko stuck it out with the nationalista because he was supporting Marcos. Sinunggal niya yung makapagal doon eh. Ayaw niyang magnasyonalista. Lahat dito sa Dabo, nagliberal na. Pagtatay ko ng paiwan. Sabi ng tatay ko, Marcos ako, come high or hell water. Nagmarcos siya. At dapat sinuspend siya. But alam mo, tatay ko, alam niya, sige, okay, I will go to court. So, medyo ano sila. Uh, matagal na nabugado ang tatay ko dito. Eh. Ganon. Yung ginagabit yung administrasyon para yung partido niya gusto suyupin lahat at yung hindi mo gustong magkalaban uh, ay yung ayaw kalaban natin uh, hanapan ng mali hanapan ng kung anong papilis dyan ilang babae pati yung babae mo pakialaman okay um, apat o lima medyo sobra na rin yun <laughs> dalawa lang yung ro ganoon eh pinambalik siya sa he is really if that is what he is doing now I am accusing him of another thing being an authoritarian leader ngayon kami dito tahimik lang lumabas lang ito kasi panggipit na talaga na hindi maganda wala mang wala mang partido na uh, opposition sa kanya so we will convince those who are against him to join us and form an alliance or whatever hindi na kanan uh, an alliance against Marcos uh, sir the president huwag kang magalit mali yung ginagawa mo and I am accusing you Mr. President remember that one day you will step down do not ever dream of extending your term luluin mo naman itong bagong konstitusyon Balitan mo lang yung ilang, isang sentence lang yan dyan. Walang economic provision, wala ka dyan sa maputang ina. Huwag ka manwala yan. Noon pa yan, economic provision is the usual excuse. Isang sentence lang dyan sa konstitusyon natin. Yung 
that the president is good for one term. Tungkol ko din lang yan. That the president is eligible to run again and again and again hanggang matanggal siya sa trabaho. Could be a military coup d'etat or whatever. Hindi, in, 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 don't count on the sabi mong loyal ang military sa iyo. Balik ka niya. And you are being a, an authoritarian leader now. Do not push your luck too far. Kasi marami pa rin Pilipino. Hindi lang umiimig. Ako nga, hindi umiimig eh. Pero pag pinilit mo ako, bunga nga ako talagang bastos, mapipilitang bastosin kita. Kung magalit ka sa akin, hindi. Basta iyo. Papatay mo ako, pakulong mo ako. But remember, hindi lulusot yan ang tsatsa mo at matani marunong magtagalo yun manatili yung hanggang 6 years pa lang malapit na malapit na so dreaming ka Sinabi ko sa iyo, huwag mong pilitin at gaya sa ginawa ng tatay mo. Anak ka ng puta, talagang ginagawa mo na. Beware of the consequences sa mga bagay na ito because do not fuck with the Constitution. At yung extending bakit kayo magka-presidente maka, maka lang gusto rin yun pati yung ayaw ko nang nasabihan eh. pati yung tatay mo eh nagkalit si Leche kasi umaba ang panahon yan constitution na yan sagrado yan it's the bible of the people not religious but it is the bible of the people sa civic Pilitin mo yan Suspend ka dito Magsuspend ka doon Ako ang magsasalita Sinabi ko na sa iyo noon Mr. President Ayaw ko magkipag-away Naging presidente ako eh. I have the resources Lahat But wala akong uh, never had the idea of you know, ganun. Contento na ako doon sa six years. Dapat makontento ka na. And you have re, you, you re, try to redeem the name of Marcos. Do not destroy it for the second time. Kasi it might not really be good for you. Huwag ka ba diwala dyan sa mga bulador na gusto kang mag- Tama ka na, Mr. President. Okay ka na sa six years. Huwag ka talagang mag-isip na mag-kautaw yung tao sa'yo, magbaw. Kung tama ka, I will defend you to death. Sigurado yan, tawagin mo lang ako. Pigin api, api ka, may gusto ka mang, somebody would want to harm you. Call me and I will die for my president. It, but, but the president fucks this constitution and destroy the lives of the people. Then kalaban mo ako. Kalaban mo ako. At marami akong alam. Wala yung, wala, wala yung drug. Wala yun. targetin talaga kita sa pagkatao mo. At anong ginawa mo sa buhay. Anong order? Ito talagang targetin kita. And it would not be pleasant. 
kindly do justice. Tama yan sinasabi. Mabigat ito, Mr. President, due process of law. The right to confront kung magkamali gawan witnesses against you. Ulitin ko, sabi niya, no person shall be deprived. No person shall de be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. Nor shall any person be denied the equal protection of law of the Constitution. With that, uh, sana ayawang ko. At ito naman si Nagdameo. Alam mo, <coughs> Sadre, kaibigan tayo. Tagal na yung kaibigan, halos gabi-gabi nagkikita tayo dyan sa dyan si kay John Villar na inungman. Do not try to be, you know, yung DILG should be the one to resolve, to investigate, or to look into a matter concerning local government. Ikaw dito na sa Secretary of Justice ka. Do not demean yourself. Sinasabi ko sa iyo, nililecturan kita kasi alam ko isa ka rin. Alam ko wala kang alam. Umakyat kayo dyan sa Malacanian. Putang ina, wala kayong alam na. Puro bangag. Do, do not try to be a hero. Tadabaw ka, kaibigan tayo. Biguro, may utang na loob pa ako sa iyo. But when it comes to my country, a new guy, huwag kayong basta-basta pupunta ng mga probinsya, patita, mag-demand kayo na ganun. Itong demokrasya, there is the right to dissent, Kung ayaw nino o ayaw nila, ay maglaro tayo. Kung hindi, aabot tayo sa batas. Lagdami yun. Huwag mo akong pilitin. Kayo ni Bongbong. Magbarkada kayo. Alam ko yan. Huwag mo akong pilitin na bubuga ako dito na masaktan kayo lahat. Kayo, anong, anong alam mo? Aral ka sa London School, lumika dami. Anong alam mo sa politika? Anong alam mo sa damdam ng isang eh, mayaman kayo, umakyat kayo dyan. Wala kayong alam kung sino ang Pilipino at ang no ang Pilipino. So, do not be a smart at. Kasi pag hindi lecturan ko kayo araw-araw, kasi ang edukasyon ko pang Pilipinas, kayo mamayaman, anong alam mo? Pakantahin kita ng bayang magilo Sige daw? Lahat. Ako yung Pilipino. Sige. Alam ko, wala. Sigurado yan. Anak kayo ng mga mayaman. Apo ka ni Florendo. Yung lupa na yan ang nakuha ninyo sa penal colony hanggang ngayon. Na siya inyo pa rin yan. Hindi inyo yan sa gobyerno yan. Dapat itapos at yung lupa na yan ibigay sa mga tao. Dapat na land reform na yan ang laki-laki ng putang inang yan.
Don't you realize? Na yumaman kayo, gumamit kayo ng lupa ng gobyerno. Putang ina ang rental doon. Ayun. Putang ina kay Bandino. Gamitin niyo ang pulid dito, ba? Bakit? May pera kayo eh. Pero wag mo akong you know, you know do not fuck with me. Wag kayong magpatigas-tigasan. Hindi ako putang ina masama. Ako isang mahirap na. Kayong mayaman. Nagdumayo. Pagbaba mo sa Malacanya. One, one day it will end. Nandyan ako sa dulo ng Malacanya. I would, I would choose the yung saan lumuhod yung nanay ni Rizal begging for the life of Rizal sa Espanyol doon kita hintay I'll make it symbolic for everybody may isa pa akong chiclet pulit yung ba kayo masyado mong abuso you correct that I'm, I'm, I'm facing the governor of the kadaos ko sa mga si governor lahat hindi ko lang sa dito kung walang abogado kami ng dalawa ni Bebot abogado man kami oh, go to the Supreme Court papel lang naman yan Sesurar ay mo. I'm sure the Supreme Court is a neutral body. Gurado rin ako niya. Ako nang warning lang dito sa baba. Ito mga... Kayo mga peon. Marcos, baba, kayo. Nagtumayo. You have to deal with us, coming mga ago, the president na wala lamang isang taong na inapi ko. Kaya yung hindi ko ginawa, huwag din yung gawin. Okay lang. Easy lang kayo. Kaya yun. Puro tayo ma-utak. Ako, mas ma-utak ako sa inyo. Kayo nakausap ko. It's one of you. Presidente, lahat na. Tingin ko sa inyo. Kulang kayo dito. Nakatabla lang kayo sa babae kasi may pera kayo. Pero sa akin, in love man itong akin. Hindi <laughs> na sa pera. Ngayon ko tayo. Stop the fucking mga putang ina kayo. Kuminto kayo. Salamat. Takut ke ni ngapotang ni nak sampai ni. Ni 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 muka ni aku putang aku lepas. Siapa panggil ni kau? Siapa yang kau? Kamu ni kibulu, kamu dungan mereka kau.
Sa barn po. Sa barn po. Sa barn po. Sa barn po. Sa Wala akong... Wala. Kulang ang wirwitals ko man. Yes po. Sa... Nagkar ko na sila nila ko. Mayroon din 14? I would not want to venture on something we say. Sa 14 mayroon na i-plebisit. 63 kabarangay sa North Cotabato. Ipa-join sa barn. 63? Oh, 63 ka. Ang karong 14 ang kuwan, plebisit. Well, if it's, if it's a law by law, if it's legal, wala ba tayo ang buka? Ay, magpa-sign o book. Ay, magpa-sign o book sa imo. Bukbukin mo siya. Itong book po, salamat PRRD na book. Magpa-sign daw siya karon. Sige. So, look, ICC, you cannot acquire over my person or over the person of my daughter and son, you cannot acquire it not in a million years. Puro papi lang kayo pa rin salita. Bakit? Sa sana. Ina-off naman eh. I-off na lang. Dara ang gumasign. Ikaw na yung dara. Mike, Mike, stand. Mike PTV. Let me let me ask everybody. News five. Ano na si si? Ano yung putang ina niya? Hindi ko alam. I am a Filipino, and I will die a Filipino. If somebody would want to prosecute me, may bidin siya sila. Nauna pa yung ICC po, takin lang. Kung nanag na ebidensya, if it's there, existing, they can file a case against me. And I will be glad to face the charges. And if found guilty, I will go to believe in prison. And if they want to execute me dito sa Pilipinas, but never, never, itong mga putang ina kayo mga isisi makialam sa buhay na Sir, magpapirma din siya, sir. Ano yan ang may... Hindi mo siya kibro, sir. Si Megi ni siya. Paila ina ka. Naga San Miguel ni siya, Mayor. San Miguel ang kamahin. Modo niya ang pangalan niya. Ito pang...